Hello everybody, this is Graphic Tools Lab, how have you been? In this tutorial we will learn about utilizing Illustrator and Photoshop to make image like this. I'll show you how to use blend options and replace it to spline. Before I get started, I just want to say, if you like to watch more of tutorials make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or comment and subscribe, that's very encouraging. Okay then, let's get started. In this video, we will use Illustrator CC. Follow my steps slowly. I created this document by going to File, New. Make the width to 97. And height 420 millimeters. Pick RGB color mode. 300 pixels per inch. Then I click Create for this canvas size. Press L to open Ellipse tool. And draw it. Hit Gradient. If this panel doesn't pop up, go to Window and activate Color and Gradient. OK. I already made Gradient Swatch. Color name is 284400. And check location is 0. Here is the second color name and location. Third one. And the last one. Click minus 30 degree. I'll delete stroke. Press and hold Alt and Shift, drag out to copy ellipse. Drag to select ellipses. Go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. Pick specified steps. I'll make 25 steps. Hit OK. Go to Object, Blend, and click Make. Now we made blended sample. Press P to open pen tool. Let's draw a line. Drag to select line and blended sample. Go to Object, Blend, Replace Spline. We're gonna open Blend Options. Check Preview. You can see the difference. I'll press 200 steps. Cause ellipse has anchor points if you want to modify line, you have to move center anchor point. Ok I'll modify size and make background rectangle which is filled with blue color. Let's add noise effect. Drag it all and go to Window, Libraries. I heard this is available in CC version. Drag all to Libraries. Now we can see artwork one has made. Let's open Photoshop. You can activate in Window, Libraries. Drag it to Document. I'll modify Curves layer. Go to Layer, New, Layer. 
pick mode to soft light and check to fill with 50% gray. Go to filter, noise, add noise. I'll check monochromatic, Gaussian, and press 100% for amount. Hit OK. Now we have done, was it easy to follow? So that's all for graphic tool slab, utilize what you learn and make awesome images. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so so much for watching this tutorial.